Dear Fichane, for the couple of the days from now today, it hasn't been easy businessly on our way of growth. To be honest, uh, I started in my studio uh, one year ago and it definitely it has reached one year with a couple of months. And during this month, the start of this month, at the end of the last month, there was some problems with my landlord. He, <coughs> he stole electricity from Kenya Power, and stealing electricity is an offense to KPLC. And being that Kenya Power, you'll have to the electricity will be cut off. All departments that you've applied, that is the rule of Kenya Power. If you do, if you have no idea, so never ever make such a mistake. When you when you build something new, even in your house notify the KPLC they come and check and do the electricity they put electricity into your house with a new meter with a new token so this guy he was building another stall at our place of business when he was building a stall he finished the stall the rooms he renovated the rooms because of the rush of 2020 22 safari rari he's rushing the business so fast so that he can catch up and through that he has been getting customers and getting customers for the rooms it has forced him now to get electricity from our building where we have rented the rooms we pay our electricity through the token and man he just stole the electricity from us without our knowledge without even he doesn't care about our businesses and like that, KPLC came, Kenya Power, cut the electricity, and the, all his buildings have been cut off. Everywhere where he has applied electricity, they have been cut off. So this is a lesson to many of us young business people, young minds, that are starting business, don't mess with the parastatals. They will cost you. Like recently, we have seen KRA, the Kenya Authority, Kenya Revenue Authority, vandalizing Keroche breweries because of their tax. Guys, let us be honest in our business. If you are not a politician, if you are not in government, if you are not from four founders of this country, please, guys, be on the safe side. Please. My future may please be safe on the safe side. If you want to be safe, be honest with your business. So I've been honest with my business. So it has given me a headache. I've been even sick. I've been feeling like getting sick. I think it is the stress of the business. Because now we're not earning even a penny from our business that we started. And the landlord, maybe he's waiting for a rent. Now we will have to shut down our business because he hasn't returned the electricity. He's planning to put solar on the building after he finished his own buildings. You see the selfishness? He doesn't care about the tenant. He cares about his business. And that model of business is not good. So guys, if you are doing business, make them be legit. If it is a future me, please make sure your business is legit. When you're doing business, especially if you're renting people houses, be legit. Make them feel safe. Like now, we have to look for a place to start again a business. And you know, starting a business, it is the hardest thing to make new clients, to create new building for clients you know creating an environment for new clients it is something that it is so painful to start and i don't want to go through that again i don't want to feel starting this guy he hasn't worked out so now i'm forced out to look for money which i don't have to start a new place i have to pay like rent for three months rent you have to pay like in advance for three months or another place they'll tell you for five months and that money maybe I don't have. I have now to bring my things back in the house where I started my studio and cover myself again and start from the beginning, from the dust. And I hope that will be a series also if we're going to do that. Because now he has closed business for other upcoming photographers who have been coming at our studio and using our studio. He has closed business to us, teaching other photographers and connecting with the people even in the area where we were doing our business we have connected our business to other people's business we do photography other people sell shoes other people sell clothes and those clothes 
those people buy from there they come from our studio because they'll come in a charter to get pictures and those pictures they'll get them with the shoes you see the connection of business this guy has to work so future me please remember there is always a struggle in life there is that moment that you're down never give up on that never when the storm comes hold on it create something from it at the moment i'm building my youtube channels yeah this channel and other channels i'm building them so that even if other outside business fail there is something bringing something on the table and that will be done because of you if you subscribe and like the video so future me please 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 don't give up don't give up we didn't give up now we haven't given up we have the headache we have the sleepless night even at the moment if i look at my watch it is around two yeah midnight i haven't slept I don't get the sickness of sleeping. If I try to sleep, I'm not sleeping. I'll be just on my phone, looking from Facebook to Twitter, Twitter from LinkedIn, from LinkedIn to TikTok, from TikTok to IG. You see, all those round, that is the life that you're living. And I don't want that. So guys, make sure, make sure, don't give up on your dream. If I have dream for this, I have dream for doing photography. I have dream for being a filmmaker. Even with my degree, my papers, I believe I will do this because this one makes me happy. When I take pictures, it makes me feel whole and passionate about it. It tells me something different. Through that, I really want to say thank you for anyone who's up there supporting me and giving me their support. Please continue giving, continue giving me the support. And I love you. God bless. Thank you.